वेलकम बैक पीपल लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स फ्रॉम गेट 2007 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स द फॉलोइंग टेबल इंडिकेट्स लिटेंसीज ऑफ ऑपरेशन बिटवीन द इंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोड्यूसिंग द रिजल्ट एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन यूजिंग द रिजल्ट देन यू आर गिवन अ टेबल एंड सम कोड दे आर आस्किंग वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ साइकल्स नीडेड टू एग्जीक्यूट द अब कोड सेगमेंट एज्यूमिंग ईच इंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्स वन साइकिल ओके now had they not specified anything about this table or latencies then the answer would have been simply seven because we have seven instructions and they have mentioned each each instruction takes one cycle so total number of cycles would have been seven in that case okay now because each instruction takes one clock cycle that means this one is surely a pipeline cpu anyways now let's analyze this table so first column is instruction producing the result second column is instruction using that result then we are given these latencies so this means if there is a alu operation that produces this result x then there is a alu operation which consumes or uses that result x according to question between these two instructions there has to be a latency of 2 that means there has to be two clock cycles between these two instructions let's see with the example here so yeah for example this fifth instruction produces this result r1 and sixth instruction uses r1 as operand so this instruction produces the result and next instruction uses the result produced by fifth one so that means there has to be a latency of 2 between these two instructions here because this is also alu operation this is also alu operation both decrement and multiply has to be done by alu so this case means latency of 2 okay anyways we are going to analyze each instruction one by one let's see that so first one is a load instruction that means we are loading value from location 1 into the register r1 okay so this is going to take one clock cycle second instruction is also going to take one clock cycle then you can see there is no dependency between instruction 1 and instruction 2 now let's see instruction 1 and 3 instruction 1 says load r1 instruction 3 says add r1 comma r2 so there is a dependency between these two because the value produced by instruction 1 is r1 and that value is being used in instruction number 3 so there is a dependency between 1 and 3 now this is load this is alu load and alu operations need to have a latency of 1 okay but we need not add that latency separately because this instruction instruction number 2 is already placed between 1 and 3 so this is taken care of automatically okay now let's see instruction 2 and 3 so between this instruction 2 and instruction 3 there has to be a latency of one clock cycle because this is load and this is alu load and alu so latency must be 1 okay that means after executing this instruction number 2 one clock cycle has to be wasted or cpu is going to stall for one clock cycle here okay so what's going to happen let's draw this gantt chart so there has to be a latency of 1 between 2 and 3 we have added that latency by making cpu stall for one cycle okay 
नाउ लेट्स एनालाइज द फोर्थ इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज डिक्रीमेंट आर टू इंस्ट्रक्शन नंबर थ्री प्रोड्यूस दिस रिजल्ट आर वन एंड दिस यूज इज द रजिस्टर आर टू सो देर इज नो डिपेंडेंसी ओके बिकॉज रिजल्ट बींग प्रोड्यूस्ड हेयर इज नॉट यूज बाय फोर्थ इंस्ट्रक्शन लेट्स एनालाइज द फिफ्थ वन फिफ्थ इंस्ट्रक्शन सेज डिक्रीमेंट आर वन now r1 is produced here and is used here that means there has to be a latency between these two instructions now this is a alu operation as well as this is also a alu operation now you can see between two alu operations whenever there is a dependency we need to have a latency of two clock cycles that means there has to be a latency of two and one clock cycle is used in executing this instruction so we only need to add a latency of 1 okay so after 3 you can execute 4 then after 4 you have you need to have a latency of 1 clock cycle so here cpu is going to stall then you can execute this instruction number 5 now let's analyze the next instruction instruction number 6 it uses r1 and r2 as its operands or as input values now r1 is produced here r2 is produced here all three are alu operations that means first dependency is this second dependency is this now there has to be a latency of 2 between 4 and 6 and 5 and 6 so let's first take care of this 4 and 6 latency required is 2 latency of one clock cycle is already added because we are executing this instruction between 4 and 6 so only latency of one unit or one clock cycle has to be added separately that is this now we have executed instruction number 5 then we have added a latency of one clock cycle then can we execute this instruction number 6 immediately here no because we have to take care of this 5 to 6 dependency also here also we need a stall of two cycles because decrement r1 is a alu operation and multiply r1 comma r2 is also a alu operation so this case will be applicable here r1 is produced by fifth instruction and is being used by sixth instruction so there is a dependency between r between instruction 5 and instruction 6 these are the two clock cycles that will be added to take care of this dependency okay now let's analyze the next instruction that is seventh one it's store r3 you can clearly see r3 is produced in sixth instruction and is being used by the seventh one now alu operation and store operation need to have a latency of two clock cycles between them that is between 6 and between 7 there has to be a latency of two clock cycles okay so first execute instruction number 6 this is i6 then there has to be a latency of two units or two clock cycles then we execute instruction number 7 so how many clock cycles in total are being used to execute this code 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 so we are using these 13 clock cycles so the answer to this question is 13 let me see the options yeah option number c 13 options are 7 10 13 and 14 so this is the correct option okay now one more thing is there might be a 
dependency between instructions that are very far away. For example, there might be a dependency here, load and decrement. This one is produce, uh, producing the value R2 and this one is using the value R2. But in the question, you can see load and ALU operation, load and ALU operation. They need a latency of one clock cycle only. So this is automatically taken care of because instruction number three is added between instruction number two and four. So you need not add this latency separately. Okay, that latency is created by our code itself. Okay. So let me find one more example. If there exists such a scenario. I don't think so. Okay, anyways, you can analyze it. So the answer to this question is 13. This is the Gantt chart. These are the instructions that are executed and these are the clock cycles. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.